Hello, my name is Joel Rolofstad. I'm a professional home inspector with the Canadian Residential Inspection Services. I'm also a member of the Alberta Professional Home Inspector Society. Today, I'm going to discuss attics. Attics are places of mystery and misunderstandings. Images of attics often portray places where old keepsakes are stored, but in most circumstances, attics are not meant to be used as storage spaces. As an inspector, I'm assessing three main components of attics. The roof structure, the attic insulation, and the attic ventilation. The structure is meant to withstand the weight of the roofing materials and any natural forces such as snow, ice, or wind. So structure is critically important. The insulation in the attic is important in both the summer and the winter. In the summer, attics are very hot and the insulation is needed to prevent this heat from getting into the home. This keeps the home cool and limits our need for air conditioning. Conversely, in the winter, the insulation prevents heat loss from the home, so we don't have to use our furnaces as much. Both instances explain why attic insulation reduces energy costs. The attic ventilation is also very important. Airflow through the attic is usually accomplished through fresh air coming into the attic through low-lying vents and leaving the attic through higher vents. Inspectors are assessing whether or not there is sufficient airflow. In the summer, the air flushes out hot attic air, thus keeping the home cool and prolonging the life of the roof components. In the winter, the airflow flushes out humidity and also helps prevent ice formation at the edges of the roof, both of which can lead to damage and the potential for mold growth. I hope this helps clear up any misconceptions about attics. I'll now leave you with this image of mold growth in an improperly ventilated attic.